There's a moment when you say to yourself, it can't be done. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. And you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem and you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You batting a thousand. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you no, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You got to proactively prepare to catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. And that wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. That wall is painful. Some will choose to go back. But there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain. Because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow, again and again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you, that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. Let's give her a hand. Let's send her assistance, send her resources. It will come out of nowhere. As you're working times with tears falling down your face, and you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. But don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It's not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. It's not over till I get what I want. Door can't open a day, look out. I'm gonna come back and take the hinges off. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we must be. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. It's not over. Oh, it's not over yet. Don't count me out yet. It's you, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Nobody's going to care more about your dream than you. No one is going to care more about you becoming diamond than you. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Everything that you do is habit forming. And that includes hitting the snooze button. That includes sitting on the couch. That includes eating donuts. It's all habit forming. You know what else is habit forming? Discipline. Setting the alarm and getting up. Going and working out. Eating steak. That stuff is all habit forming too. I recommend you form some discipline habits. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You don't need nothing else. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no. You keep talking about everybody else you can't tell no. You can't tell you no. 
You can't tell you stop. You can't tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined and you need to learn to check yourself. And I want you to say, the reason I'm not an amazing yet because I hit the snooze button. That's why I'm not amazing right now. The reason why I'm not amazing right now is because I couldn't get up early enough because I told myself I'm not an early person. I'm not amazing because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing to be amazing. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and control it. Most people are out of control with their mind. They don't point it at something. They let the world point it and they misfire all the time. You have control over your mind. You just have to assert it. You have to decide that you are going to be in control, that you are going to do what you want to do. Weakness doesn't get a vote. Laziness doesn't get a vote. Everyone wants some life hack that eliminates the need to do the work, but that does not exist. No, you have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? I say you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. And then go get some. You have to master the monotonous. It's the boring sh It's the everyday sh It's the regular sh It's the sh that you do every day that 99% of you motherfuckers think doesn't matter. They look at it like you do a few things. I fucking ate right for three days. Why am I not a fucking fitness model? I did my tasks that I needed to do. I sent five emails. I called 10 people. Why am I not running a $10 million company? Because they don't understand what mastering the monotonous means. It means doing the sh that most people are too fucking undisciplined to do day in and day out with perfection. Doing it better than everybody else. Doing it to the best of your ability. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. Are you going to do your workout or are you not? Are you going to do your cardio or are you not? Go look yourself in the mirror and I want you to vow to be amazing. I want you to vow that no more excuses. From this day forward, I'm not just going to be getting pumped up. I'm not just going to be fired up. I'm about to start applying. Make a commitment to yourself today. Vow to yourself today that you will make whatever sacrifice, that you will pay whatever it takes, that you will do whatever you have to do to be amazing. It is us. We have to train. We have to prepare. We have to harden ourselves through suffering. And while it hurts, and it does hurt, it is that discipline that will ultimately bring us freedom. There is a difference between passion and obsession. When you're passionate, everybody cheers you on. They're stoked for you. Oh, you found your passion? Awesome. Follow your passion. Live with passion. Be passionate. Chase your passions. Everything, like passion, 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 passion. Passion's good. Like, the world's gonna be like, yay, passion. When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you gonna be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always gotta get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. Because somebody in your life should say, man, you really care about this in like a crazy way. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. 
I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. So listen to me, there are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. If you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. We do not retreat, we do not give up, we do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness, they feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. And I dare you under every single circumstance, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. We have two voices in our mind. There's that one voice that we love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker that says sleep the fuck in. It's okay. Well, there's another motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. It's that demon voice that whispers in your fucking ear that says, get up, motherfucker. You're not good enough. You gotta work fucking harder. You haven't put enough time in. It's that voice you wanna run away from. It's that voice you don't wanna fucking hear. But guess what? It's that voice you need to fucking listen to. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish. But you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be elite. They'll tell you they want to be great. But they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate them. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I want to hang with somebody, I don't care what the circumstances, I don't care what the situation. You put it on your back and you're like, let's go. Are you hearing me? You're not at it, dog. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of oh, shit, man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've done enough. You gotta do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't wanna do it, you gotta suck it the fuck up and do it. At some point in your life, give every single thing you got. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be the fucking MVP. It's not enough you ran a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Never do the bare minimum. Be different. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, it's been 550. You ain't the only one doing what you're doing. And there's some kid, and right now, he's trying to take your spot. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, I can't do no more reps, you said, saying, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting in his own. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Know that that's someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. A lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. You make sure in life when they think about that person, you make sure they put a name and face to it. You make sure the name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head. Own a space. If you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man that's doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best. I'm a beast. And oftentimes when you're going up against other beasts, sometimes they just want it more than you want it. They're not more talented than you. They just know what they out there for. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to drive you. And when you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. In all times when you want to quit, you make sure you remember all those times, hours, and days you sacrificed to be the best. Where will you be in your business and your life in 36 months?
not because you hope, because you decide. If there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you decided there's something you wanted so bad that you unleashed all your desire. You became obsessed with it. You didn't just envision it, you brought so much emotion to it that now it's in your life. It was once a dream, it was once a goal, and now it's in your life. It may have seemed impossible one time, so how did you do it? You started with a concrete vision of what you wanted and you focused on it continuously, didn't you? Wherever focus goes, energy flows. So why don't we tap into that power now for your business and life? So many people have lost their day and thus their week and thus their month and thus their year and thus their whole life's agenda to distraction. What are some things you need to immediately stop doing in your life? Is it social media? Is it watching seven seasons of a show every week? What do you need to stop doing to take back control of life? Also, what do you need to start doing? And what do you need to start doing every day, every week, every month, every year to be on your A game? Discipline buys you freedom to do what you want. Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and in sight and in focus. However small or insignificant that step might seem, take it, do it, make it happen, because that goal isn't going to achieve itself. It is all on you. There is no capability difference between you and someone you consider to be an ultimate role model of success. The only difference is they've learned to manage their state and they've learned to control their mental focus. Whatever we concentrate our focus on consistently and strive to learn from, we will get great at. I don't care what it is, if you focus on it daily and you strive to be better, you're going to make little distinctions that will make you more and more effective every single day. You should figure out what is it you desire in life and figure out the steps to get there and start working a plan to get there and minimizing everything else. Getting very clear on the mission, very clear on the mission and working the plan. Everything else, guess what it gets? A no. This is the truth of success. Most people can't succeed because they can't deal with all the old motherfuckers pulling them off the game plan. You're gonna have to get real fucking comfortable sticking to your own plan and telling them no when they wanna go out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you wanna win, whether it's this year or next year or fucking ever, you're gonna have to get real comfortable keeping your head on your plan and put the time into making yourself happy. If you want to be successful, if you want to dominate in the area, you got to let everything go but that thing you're pursuing. You can't chase two rabbits and catch both of them. So you put your attention on one and go after it. You concentrate on winning. You concentrate on dominating. Listen to me. Meditate on this stuff. Focus on this stuff. And when we focus on that, that's where our energy is going to go. I need you to take ownership of your thoughts. I need you to say with me, this is my mind. These are my thoughts. I control what I think. Not the circumstances, not the situations. I control what I think. I choose where I'm going and I will use my thinking. I will use my thoughts to make the rest of my life the best of my life. What are you doing right now? Are you not doing anything? Are you doing something stupid? Or are you making progress? What are you doing right now? Man, stop bullsh**. If you really got a problem with your life, you'll change it. You're not tired of being broke. You're not tired of being stuck. You're not tired, because if you was tired, you would actually do some shit about it. I'm tired of everybody running around complaining, as if you're on the receiving end of whatever this world wants to dump on you, and you don't have a choice. It's time to grow up, man. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Anybody who is determined to do something, who wants something to be different, it will eventually be different. Everything around you is gonna change as soon as you change the things around you. Change your mind and everything about your bank account, your surroundings, your environment will all change. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. That's why people never achieve their strategic goals. They lose the little battles, the death of a thousand cuts. One missed workout at a time, and then another, and then another, and it all adds up. Why? Because we don't think about the big picture. 
We don't see the decay. We are like the frog boiling in the pot. As the temperature slowly increases, one degree at a time, one degree closer to death, one degree closer to failure. I want to tell you what people don't want to tell you. Why you stop is because you're lazy. You don't mind getting bad grades in school. It doesn't bother you enough to be mediocre, to be average, to sit around and watch people do great things. You don't mind it. You don't care enough about yourself. When that mind gets relaxed, man, you are fucked. It's supposed to be hard, man. It's supposed to be grimy. It's supposed to be gritty. It's supposed to be horrible. It's supposed to be really ugly. I'm supposed to be battered. I'm supposed to be bruised. I'm supposed to be beaten. Your mind has to touch hardship. It's how you start to create the calloused mind. This is how I'm going to grow. For every level, there's another devil. It is the devil's job to create challenges, obstacle courses and issues and conflicts, insecurities, fear, sending people to talk you out of your mission because he wants to put you to a test. But I can tell you now, I piss the devil off every day because I just don't stop. This fucking guy, every time he does it, doesn't matter if he gets sick, it doesn't matter what happens to his money or his finances, he gets out of his bed and he's on a mission to get it done. Unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody want the reward, but everybody don't have to want to work. We all got to work. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. Isn't it about time you become that person you knew you always could be? How do you do that? You break the fucking mold, guys. You get the Let's get out of bed when it's cold, when it's early, and go for a fucking run. Commit to one day and see how you feel. Mentally, you'll feel like, wow, man, that was fucking alive. You can't talk it all the time. You gotta walk it. Commit to one day. Try it. See how it feels. Getting up that fucking early when everyone else is asleep, or when it's that cold, when everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable. You shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker, I'm gonna introduce myself to it. You might be smarter. Your family might come from privilege. Your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. This top spot is number one, that's mine. Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. Some of you in this room, you might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna to have to get up. The longer you're gonna to have to stay up. The more effort you're gonna to have to put in. You know how hard I worked to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Did nobody give me this? I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earn every dime I get. I work for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-parent background has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. And ain't no man ain't okay with being just basic. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field. One season, everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. 
I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120. People give themselves an excuse all the time when they say he's built different. Well, if you mean he gets up earlier, he stays later. He does stuff for others. He asks questions. He's humble. He works really hard when no one's around. Then yeah, he's built different. You wake up earlier than people. You stay later than people. You stay humble. You work harder than anyone when no one's there. I guarantee someone that feels bad about themselves soon will label you as he's built different. He's built different should be your label because people feel bad about themselves. You're setting the example every single day of your life. If you're gonna have a true dog mentality, you're gonna wake up every day and grind. You don't wanna go run, you go run. You don't wanna go swim, you go swim. You don't wanna study, you can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's gonna suck. It's not gonna be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna give me a good story to tell. So bring it. You're going to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gives a fuck about how he feels or how she feels? They just do it. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. Greatness is not something that you meet once. It's something that you meet thousands of fucking times in your life. And you don't reach it if you're not constantly in constant fucking pursuit of greatness. Some of you are not successful because you think effort is success. You think because you put in 40 hours that you're supposed to get some because you put in 40. It don't work like that in the school of hard knocks. They don't care how many hours you put. They just want to see the execution. So you feeling in your spirit like, yo, but I did just as much as he did. I studied just as much as he studied. It doesn't matter. You just got to execute. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be the f***ing MVP is not enough you made a 5K, win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor, be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. And you gotta get to the point where no other human wants it for you more than you want it for you. Are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? And why chase this thing called winning? Because the only thing that's guaranteed in life if you don't chase it is losing. The only one that can make it happen for you is you. It's you against you out there. You have to think I am the best guy out there. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. It's always you versus you. Worry about yourself, worry about what you're doing, and worry about where you're going, and only where you're going to be your best self. You're going to do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? You're going to go your own way. You're going to do what they won't do. You're going to be smart, and you are going to win. You're after the peace and the happiness and the pride that comes with knowing exactly what the f*** you're made of. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you're putting in those extra reps, it's the process that makes you sweet. I'm telling you that you gotta be possessed with the vision. I don't care if I win. I just want to keep coming after you. You're gonna knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're gonna keep after. You're gonna be relentless. You're not gonna give in. You're gonna be the person who stays excited until the entire job gets done, until that dream is real. And you know long term, all these other people, they're gonna flinch, they're gonna get weak, and you won't. In those times when you wanna quit, because we're all human here. You make sure you remember one thing. All those times and hours and days, you sacrifice to be the best. What do you do when you have been telling yourself you can reach a goal and you're losing every day? 
What do you do when, you, when you've lost your spirit, you've lost your job, you lost everything, life been devastating. Once you are defeated in your mind, ladies and gentlemen, it's all over. Your problem is your pain has identified you. Your pain has weakened you. You have a choice how you respond to your pain. And some of you in this room, for real, I'm just going to be honest with you, you're getting wimpy on me. You're getting soft on me. You are not the only person that's been through a divorce, boo. Get over it. You're not the first one. You won't be the last one. You can turn that divorce into something. You're not the first one to lose your promotion and get fired. You're not the first one. You're not the first one they let go of. You won't be the last one. The question is, what you going to do about it? I know what it is to walk the floor and you don't know how you're going to make it when people no longer believe in you and you are your God. And you got to say to yourself, when you fail again and again, they tell you no, sometimes with tears in your eyes, it's possible. When life stagger you, the thing that'll get you up on your knees and get you standing in the center of the ring and find something from somewhere deep down in to keep on slugging and keep on fighting is, it's possible. It's possible. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. When you're facing defeat, disappointment, Seem like life has written you off and everybody say you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. All you need to affirm that in spite of this, it's possible that I can do it. So what makes ET different than everybody else? Every year I just kept going. And I kept going and I kept going and I kept saying one day gonna be my day. But you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna quit in the process. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give in. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. I paid too much. Listen to me, I cannot stop what happens to me, but I can dictate how I respond. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I buck back. I will greet this day with love in my heart, and I will overcome evil. And the problem with some of you in this room, you will never be great because every time you go through pain, every time you go through a problem, every time you go through discouragement, you give up and you quit and you do not understand that at the end of pain is your millions. At the end of pain is your reward. At the end of pain is your productivity. At the end of pain is your promise. So do me a favor, stop crying about it and use your energy to get through it. I'm talking to you, you're going through a storm right now. And I'm telling you that this too shall pass like every storm that has come to you. And I'm telling you, whatever you're going through right now, if you can just muster up enough strength to hold on and hold out, if you do not quit, if you do not give up, it's coming, baby. Hold on. I don't care how long it takes you to finish school. Hold on. I don't care how long it takes you to pass that bar exam. You keep going. You keep studying, you keep writing, you keep singing, you keep rapping, you keep boxing, you keep fighting, you keep dribbling, you just keep on keeping on. And if you persevere, every storm that's come, it will pass. Recycle your pain. You can decide the shape, the form, you can decide the product that comes from your pain. Look up, get up, and don't ever give up. Life can throw you some curves. And it's not just the things that you see coming, but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over. And you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full. And you already said, I can't take another thing. And then out of nowhere, here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it. And in your homes, somewhere in your heart, these words are echoing. Am I going to make it? When you get into a tight spot and everything goes against you until it seems that you cannot hold on for a minute longer, never give up then, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. There are times when your energy feels so depleted that you want to give up, that it looks just totally impossible. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, don't give up then. That's when you've got to fall forward, when life is kicking dirt in your face. Don't give up then. That's when most people turn back. As long as you're alive, there is hope. You're still alive. You gotta embrace it because that pain is what makes you stronger. Pain is the high cost of growth. 
If you want to grow up, you want to be mature, there is no way to do it without pain. You can't grow up on easy street. And the very thing that discourages you is the very thing that develops you. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to push through it, tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. And there are those of you, you were this close, but you compromised. You let your feelings get the best of you. And you let a little pain stop you from your dream. Girl, you was there. You was running your business. You were there. I didn't quit because people didn't understand. I worked harder when people didn't support me. You better grind because if you don't, you will be stuck at that adversity for the rest of your life. Whatever it is, you'll be stuck there. Why don't I get something for it? You ain't got to have the best hand in life. You ain't got to start with the two-parent background. You ain't got to start with wealth. You ain't got to start with your parents graduated. It's not the hand that you dealt. It's how you play your hand. When people die or people get sick or something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing it because you can, when you're doing it because it represents who you are, when it's internal, nothing can stop you. No mountain, no trial, no tribulation, nothing can stop you when it's deeper than just money and stuff. I can, I, can. I, will. I will, I must, I must. it's going to rain sometimes, I will, I will. you're going to feel discouraged sometimes, I will. I will, no matter what the obstacle, I will, I will, I will, I, will. I, will. I, will. I must. I must. What's that thing that's gonna pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's gonna pump you up and get you past that disease? What's gonna pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's gonna pump you up and get you to the other dog on side? Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care how big the giant is, you can win. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. So I'll hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, actually doing something. That's what you have to do to achieve anything. Yeah, you got to believe it, but you better get the work done. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Because you're going to wake up most days and not feel like it. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being. Things that you know are going to improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are going to make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Get up early. Do some kind of workout. Eat good foods. Clean your room. Make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life. And then wake up in the morning and do those things. And no, it is not easy. But you're not going to get it from anyone else but you. You think things are gonna just go your way? Well, they're not gonna just go your way. You gotta make them go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. Everyone seems to think that this world, this government, somebody owes them something. Nobody owes you shit. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and take it. That's all there is to it. You need to stop this whining, this crying all the damn time, and get up and do something about it. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your f***ing feelings. F*** your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. You're either going to be a f***ing sheep, or you're going to be a lion. You're going to be an attacker and a go-getter. 
But if you want to sit there and cry, and moan and whine all the f***ing time while you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the losers and you stay there. But don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say, hey, good job for being a f***ing quitter. Get up and do something about it. People who win f***ing do sh and people who lose talk sh You can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do them. That's reality. That's the sh nobody wants to admit because admitting so means that you have to take responsibility for where you are currently. And you have to say, I am where I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That can hurts a little bit. But once you accept that truth, you are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. Discipline your body. Free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. For somebody going through tough times, for somebody struggling just to keep your head above water, you're trying, but things don't seem to be quite working out the way you do. Good intentions are worthless unless they lead to good actions. Nobody ever had their life changed by somebody hoping, thinking. Wake yourself up. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today. Start with this little video. Because once you discipline yourself in one area of your life, everything else will shift in your life as well. There's always two pains in life. There's the pain of discipline, or is the pain of regret. Discipline weighs ounces, regret weighs tons. And the time is now. The secret of your success is determined by what we do daily. Make every day your masterpiece. So right now, what do you want to change? What's it really like? What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. Just get today done. Today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. Just today. I want to back everything up with action. Always, always back it up with movement. Don't talk about working out. You can do it all day, but do it. And so many people, oh, man, I'm finna do this. I'm finna, I'm finna. And man, I said, man, well, why haven't you? Why aren't you? And so everything you see me doing, I just say, I'm going. I'm trying. I'm going for it. I don't care. And we'll see what happens. I want my 95-year-old self to say, you did the right thing. It's time to stop making your excuses. It's time to start taking advantage of the world we live in today and all the opportunities that are staring you in the face. You do have the time. You do have the money. You do have the energy. You just need to decide. Decide that you want it bad enough and admit the truth, which is nothing, nothing in this world is free. Admit that you can have anything you want, but it's going to be hard work. Admit that you are the only reason that you are where you are, and you are the only reason that you ain't where you want to be. Take responsibility and accept it. You've got to go get it. Now, now is the time. Now is your moment. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right here, right now. It's your time to decide that you can, you will, you must. Tomorrow don't exist. You only have this moment, right now. And what you decide to do in this moment can shape the rest of your life. Stop making excuses and start making some changes. In every aspect of life, you're gonna fall flat on your face. You're gonna be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're gonna feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes, but it's okay. It goes with the territory. You got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You gonna ask somebody for some money. He gonna tell you no. That's just dirt. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you. But you need dirt on you to develop. Because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. 
Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you got to have dirt on you to push through something. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad because you get a setback. You get mad because you get thrown off course. You get mad because you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad because they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad because you lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what God got for you. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. Life is gonna throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they go hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's gonna take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it, grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit during the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you gotta find something within. You gotta find something within, and that's gotta push you, and that's gotta elevate you, and that's gotta drive you, and that's gotta move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. I challenge you to never give up. Never give up. You're gonna be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe.